For 2010, Cummins will be introducing a brand new platform, the ISX 11.9. In the next several minutes, we'll want to introduce you to the product and talk about its design features. Joining me is Dr. Steve Charlton, Vice President of Heavy Duty Engineering. So let's get started. Steve, thank you for joining us. Oh, you're welcome, Lou. Where would you like to begin? Well, I think, first of all, Lou, to mention that the uh, 2010 11 9, this is an all-new platform, and it does feature both a diesel particulate filter and selective catalytic reduction, better known as SCR. And in fact, those components are common with the ISX-15, so uh, we're very pleased with those technologies and what they bring to this engine. If we look at the cold side or the intake side of the engine here, you'll see the uh, intake manifold, which goes directly into the cylinder head part of our compact design uh, approach. You can also see the fuel pump at the rear of the engine uh, is the high pressure fuel pump again common technology with the ISX 15 providing high pressure fuel up to 35,000 psi up to the fuel rail from where it's distributed to each of the uh, high pressure common rail injectors in the cylinder head. The uh, XPI fuel system is all new for 2010. We did first introduced it on our mid-range products uh, in 2007, but now for the first time we're going to see it on heavy duty. It brings tremendous flexibility to us. Uh, we're able to uh, raise the fuel pressure independently of engine speed, and also we can have multiple injections that bring advantages for fuel economy, performance, uh, and in fact uh, noise, combustion noises improve dramatically. And I see the ECM here, or the uh, electronic control module. What comments would you make about it? Well, one of the uh, recurring themes here is the relationship of the ISX-15 and the ISX-11.9. They are, in fact, a common architecture. They have a lot of common componentry sensors. The ECM, as you say, is uh, common between the 11.9 and the 15 liter. Uh, the XPI fuel system, the DPF and the SCR that I mentioned earlier. And also their peak cylinder pressure capability is, is greater than 2800 PSI in both cases. That gives us tremendous opportunity for power and torque as well as emission control. Okay, great. Let's take a look at the hot side of the engine. Well, on this side of the engine, Lou, you can see the variable geometry turbocharger. This was first introduced in 2007. Uh, with the uh, electronic actuator. The VG itself, the variable geometry turbo, was first introduced on Cummins engines as early as 2002. So now we've got almost 10 years of experience with it. And, uh, you know, it's a very, very powerful uh, component for it that does a lot of things. It allows us to develop torque at low speed for high performance. It also gives us great control of uh, fuel flow and airflow so that we could get good fuel economy with the, the VGT. Downstream of the VGT, you'll see the dosing injector. We actually don't e expect that to be used very much in 2010, thanks to high levels of passive regeneration that we, we think we'll get with the, uh, with the DPF, thanks to the architecture of the engine having uh, SCR downstream of the uh, DPF. Uh, towards the front of the engine, you can see the exhaust uh, manifold take off to the EGR system through a bellows into the uh, stainless steel shell and tube heat exchanger. Then back around across the top of the engine through the EGR valve, through the uh, EGR measurement system, which is a fully integrated delta P sensor. No delta P tubes on this engine that we did in fact have in 02 and 07. And then the exhaust gas is recycled to the intake uh, via the front of the engine, where it mixes and is uh, entrained into the uh, intake charge to control NOx. So let me combine two thoughts here. Um, what would you say are the um, benefits of the ISX-11.9, and what markets do you see that this engine serving best? Well, I think the benefits are that, first of all, um, the lineage of the engine, uh, it, it gains a lot from the ISM that it replaces. It also gains a lot from the ISX-15, so really it's got the best of both um, of its uh, of our other engines uh, that we've developed this from. From uh, the point of view of application, vocational applications such as mixers, dumps, fire trucks, uh, specialty applications, RVs, uh, those kinds of applications, 
as well as regional hall or day cab mm -hmm. uh, types of applications. It's a very compact design. It will, in fact, go anywhere that the ISM will go. Um, and we see that as a huge advantage. It's got uh, power takeoff and other features that are required by the vocational market. Uh, so we see it uh, basically being uh, just a terrific engine delivering flexible torque and, and power as needed. Okay, great. Thank you for helping us today. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. For 2010, our message is straightforward. Our products will deliver better performance, better fuel economy, better reliability every mile that you'll drive them. Cummins is ready for 2010. Thank you for listening.